What's happening guys and girls? DJ Wayne here hanging out. Fighting off a cold. I've been going non-stop since two weeks ago. Getting ready for the Roval and doing all the museums and everything. And all these weddings and corporate parties. I was really under the weather yesterday. But today I felt a little bit better. Went over to the man cave. Started pulling all my autographed they're not eight by tens nascar they don't do eight by tens nascar will do pretty much any size they can get small large look at this richard petty bubba wallace photo um so hero cards is what you guys call them so hero cards and i was alphabetizing them pulling them all out and uh filing them away because i got so many um i need your help who is this guy that's pretty bad. That's a bad problem to have, I guess. I have no idea who this guy is. So I'm going to zoom in. If you know, let me know. There's his autograph. If you figure it out, let me know. Because, yeah, nothing. I don't know who it is. I can't remember. I got so many that I just can't remember. But not only going through the 8x10s, the photos... So I did pull out these Richard Petty, Bubba Wallace photos. Um, what do you think? Do you think Bubba Wallace was in the right? Do you think he was in the wrong? Do you think his suspension was justified or not justified one race suspension? I know you've probably seen it all over YouTube, but I want to hear your response on my YouTube channel. But got some Logano's, Chandler Smith's. But going through all these 8x10s, and, and some of them, a lot of them are filed away already, I realized just how many dang trading cards I have autographed. There's an old Jeff Green right there that I'm holding on to. Bobby Allison. Here's William Byron. Christopher Bell. William Byron. There's some Jimmy Johnsons in there. Some Ross Chastain there. Matt Crafton, truck driver, De Benedetto. I got some Bill. And there's Chase. Got a cup. Well, that one's not signed. But that one is. And there's Bill again. So I'm just going through it all. And even realizing that I've got some old. Here's some Gray Galdings. But I uh, pulled up an old. There's Denny Hamlin. Just some great old photos. Denny Hamlin again. Daniel Hamrick. Look at there. Daniel Hamrick. How cool is that? And I got more than one. I got like three, four of them. Kevin Harvick. Now there you go. That's uh that's pretty cool. That's a dual card right there. That is uh part of his race suit and then part of the tire. That was from Torque. Really cool. I want to get him to autograph that. Um, I need to see about getting that. would be cool to get him to sign that. But that's a good one. Then I've got, of course, some football cards. I collect all kinds of sports. And somewhere around here, a real living legend. No, I'm not talking about Bobby Allison there. How about that? Terry Funk, NWA world champion. Terry Funk. You got to love wrestling. A lot of you guys might not know. But uh, the 17th of October was the 18th anniversary of the passing of my infant son, Baby Ryan. Uh, Baby Ryan is the reason that I did my pro wrestling charity event, Beach Bash 2005. Um, sold out 2,200 fans. I created it. I produced it, promoted it, hired everybody, bought the food and drinks to sell, made the tickets to sell, and successfully ran a pro wrestling charity event and i have written part of the story on my website dj wayne adventures if you get a chance and you like wrestling hop on over there and take a look and uh, give it a read it's not complete yet my main event if again if you like wrestling my main event was superfly jimmy snooker versus greg the hammer valentine inside a steel cage with the hardcore legend Mick Foley as a special guest referee.
And all that money that we raised went to the McLeod Children's Hospital and Children's Miracle Network. So there's Austin Dillon there. Um, but yeah, if you get a chance, if you like wrestling or you just get bored and you want to read, hop on over there, djwayneadventures.com. Um, that's where I'm going to share stories. Here's one here. Let's see. There's a sheet metal from the number 13 Geico. Number 03 of only 10, Casey Mears. So, yeah, I was going through filing all my photos and realized how many of these cards I have that are autographed. So I need to, now I need to go and alphabetize them and, and put them up. But get on over there, take a look at it. Tell me what you think. If you want to see DJ Wayne at a wrestling event, hop on YouTube and Google or YouTube WCW Fall Brawl 99. Main event, Hulk Hogan versus Sting for the WCW world title. But any of that pay-per-view, you'll see me. I'm not hard to find. I'm right on the front row. I am in Sting 80s white makeup um and my best friend ashley he's a makeup artist for movies he's the one that did our makeup he is in the black and white sting of the latter years today um but yeah wcw fall brawl 99 it's on youtube or the wwe network or the peacock if you got the cock hop over there and take a look at it fall brawl 99 but what do you think about the whole incident in Las Vegas with Bubba Wallace. I think he was in the wrong. I really do. I don't think he should have did what he did at that racetrack, at that speed, taking out a contender. Sorry about that. My telephone just cut off. My wife called. She got finished up doing a school dance today. Hey, there's the Go-Go's, Rock and Roll Hall of Famers. Um... Her father's not doing well, so keep her and her family in your thoughts and prayers. And uh, But yeah, we'll finish up this video. Thank you guys for watching. Did you get a chance to watch the Myrtle Beach Speedway video? That's why I'm sick, because I was going from wedding to wedding to wedding to school dance to corporate event. Then it's cold, it's hot, it's hot, it's cold. And uh, yeah, I just need a couple of days just to rest. Today was going to be that day, and what did I do? Got into my NASCAR. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. Hope you have a wonderful weekend ahead. I have Halloween party tomorrow, wedding in North Carolina on Saturday, wedding in South Carolina on Sunday, and Iron Maiden on Tuesday. I've been going nonstop so long, I honestly thought the Iron Maiden concert was this past Tuesday. I didn't realize it until about 12, 30, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So I was relieved. I took the evening off and didn't do a thing and ended up getting sick yesterday. So DJ Wayne, thank you guys and girls for watching. Please subscribe if you have not already done so. Ring that bell for notifications. Leave happy rocking comments. I love hearing from you guys and girls. And we'll see you again soon. See ya.